it's going to be the same way tomorrow night. The same way Wednesday night, same way Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday day. Woo, I feel the sweet Holy Ghost power tonight. Hey, man, some of you, I know I didn't get to shake your hands. Some of you, I shake you twice. Um, amen. So let's shake three times. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Good to see all you good people here tonight. Some of you ain't seen in months of Sundays. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're glad you're here tonight. Good to have uh, Sister Simmons, Sister Charlotte from West Virginia yeah. tonight. Amen. Praise God. And it's good to have Brother John and them, amen, from Tennessee or Kentucky, wherever. <laughs> amen. Praise God. Good to have all you, amen, from Bristol, Lebanon, Abington. Wherever you're from, you are welcome. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. But we're just so glad to be back in God's house. Amen. And up here, you got a lot of room to shout, run, jump, poop, and holler, what have you, amen. Praise God. <coughs> we just thank the Lord tonight. Praise God. Now, my wife, sister of mine, Dinah Smith, is going to be preaching for us tonight, amen. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And Tuesday night, that brother Billy Rattler from Pikeville, Kentucky, be here Wednesday night. Pastor Tanner Rattler from Michael, Kentucky. Thursday night from Grundy, Virginia, Brother Hubert Bishop. Amen. And Friday night, Brother Mike Mellon. Amen. From Kingsport, Tennessee. And he's here tonight. Praise God. He was here last night. God throw him in my throat. Praise the Lord. Saturday morning. 11 o'clock, Brother Seth will be preaching, amen, and after he gets through uh, uh, preaching, we're going to have uh, some hot dogs and hamburgers, and we appreciate all you that's uh, getting in on this, amen, praise God, uh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and there's nothing like having a hamburger and a hot dog, amen, praise the Lord, pray over for you, eat it. amen, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Then uh, on the 19th, amen, Saturday week, we'll be having our homecoming dinner at 12 o'clock right here, amen, at the Fellowship Hall. And it's going to be home-cooked meals, amen. All home-cooked, amen. And uh, we just got some good cooks, amen. We're looking for a great time. Praise the Lord. And on September the 1st, we're going to have a youth rally, amen, and that's a Friday night, Yeah. and Sister Madison Grimmett Woo! is going to be a preaching night, amen, praise God, and we're looking for a great service on that Friday night, now this is the first time she's ever done that, and I know it's going to be good, we're going to be here with her, now this service will be down to Raven, to the old home place, amen, praise God, I call that the home place, amen, Praise God, hallelujah. And if you want CDs or DVDs of the service, please see the medium booth back there in the back, and they'll take care of that for you, amen. Praise the Lord, and we're just so wonderful and so glad. It don't seem like it's been a year since we've been up here with our homecoming dinner, preaching and, and revival and all that. It's been a year, amen. But praise God, time is not waiting on nobody. Time is passing by. Amen. But it's good to have uh, Sister Sam and her children here tonight. Praise yes, God. Hope. Hallelujah. Good to have uh, uh, all the people back here in the back. I can't see that far. Amen. Uh, but Sister Wanda, amen. And Baby Doll and, and Nella Jean and all of them. Praise God. It's good to see all of you. Amen. If I miss you, forgive me, you're welcome. Amen. Shell all you want to. Run all you want to. Praise God all you want to. Speak in tongues all you want to. Hallelujah. This is freedom. Amen. We got our freedom here. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're not under the law. We are under Jesus Christ, the grace of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But we're going to pray 
And we're going to get right into the service now, amen, and let God have his way uh, here for a little while. Then we're going to turn my wife loose with the bread of life tonight. I mean, he's hungry. Amen. Praise God. So good to have brother and sister Fuller with us tonight. Amen. Praise God. Everybody, thank God. Be your welcome. We love you. Amen. I'm going to ask Brother Seth to pray. How many's got a request for raising your hand? How many's got unspoken requests, lost loved ones, sickness in your family? Oh, I feel so wonderful tonight. I feel the Spirit of God. I feel like God's going to do something tonight. Hallelujah. Brother Seth, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's stand to our feet. Let's lift our hands and our voices and let's call on the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you, Jesus. We praise you. We glorify you, Lord. Lord, there's no one like you, none beside you, none above you. Lord, I'm glad to know that you are the one true and living God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will have your way in this service tonight. Lord, you see each and every one that's gathered here, Lord, that you will bless and touch. You see the walls, Lord, that you will save, heal, and deliver. Change somebody's life tonight. Renew somebody. Fill somebody with the Holy Ghost tonight. Lord, I'm trusting and believing in you, Lord, uh, to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think. Uh, have your way tonight, Jesus, and we ask and claim it uh, and proclaim it in Jesus' name. Uh, amen and amen. Thank the Lord. Now don't you let down your nets, down into the Yeah. 
But praise God, we're going to pray and ask God to bless you. Amen. And after we do this and they sing another song, amen, I want Brother says to come and have recognize my wife before she comes to preach. Amen. Praise God. I use Brother Seth. He's my right arm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And that's just everybody pray right now over the offering. Praise God. Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come before thee tonight, God, as almost as we know how. Lord, I bring this wonderful congregation before the throne of grace, God. Lord, you see the need, God. I know you're able to move, reach down that great big God in hand. And Lord, I'm asking you to anoint my wife like never before. By the sweet Holy Ghost power, God, that she will touch the hearts, the souls of the people here tonight. And let that spirit flow tonight like it did last night. And we're going to give you the praise and the glory and honor for everything. And bless those that have it to give and those that don't have it to sing. And bless those that's not able to be with us tonight because of different situations. Some has to work, some has an appointment. We know, God, you can take care of them as I hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen as they say. Oh, come on after you give. Lift your hands and worship the Lord. Oh, let's create an atmosphere of worship in the name of Jesus. <laughs> As I knew in the dark near, in the middle of the night, I prayed for assurance, everything's going to be all right. Lord, I've seen another battle, it's out in front of me, and I'm afraid I won't be able. He said, do you remember where I brought you from? Oh yeah, just take a look behind you, look how far you come. And every time you ask me, then I deliver you. So why would you be thinking that? I was once a home. She said, My bills are coming due, Lord. Six days is not that long. She hears a voice so still and low. He said, I moved like that before. And I'll do this little thing. And I'll give you so much more. He said, I walked on the water. And I called the rain to see. And I gave it peace Then I did all the heaven Just to die for your sins I searched until I found you And I'll do it all again He said I walked on the water And I called the raging sea your sins. I search until I found you, and I'll do it all again. Oh, listen to this verse. He said, do you remember where I brought you from? Just take a look behind you. 
Look how far you come. And every time that you ask me, then I deliver you. So why would you be thinking that I'm going to see you through? He said, do you remember where I brought you from? Just take a look behind you. Oh, brother, sister, look how far you come. And every time you ask me, then I deliver you. So why will you be thinking that I wouldn't see you through? He said, I walk on the water and I call the rain. Oh, somebody obey God. I feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> And then I leave on the heaven This is I for your sins I search until I found you And I'll do it all again He said I walk on the water And I calm the raging sea Oh yeah! Until I found you And I'll do it all again As I kneel in the darkness In the middle of the night I'm praying for assurance Everything's gonna be alright Lord, I've seen another battle Now in front of me I'm afraid I won't be able and I'll go down in the peace. But he said, do you remember where I brought you from? Oh, just take a look behind you. <laughs> oh, look how far you come. And every time you ask me, did I deliver you? So why would you be thinking that I would have seen? He said, I walked on the water, and I talked the rage and sea. I spoke to the wind, it hushed, and I gave you peace. And I leave all the heaven, just to die for your sins. I search until I found you, and I do it all again. One more time. See, I spoke to the wind, it hushed, and I gave me peace. Then I leave all the heaven just to die for your sins. I search until I found you, and I'll do it all again. Woo, hallelujah! I'm going to ask Brother Seth to come and introduce my wife to the Congregation tonight, give brother Seth a great big hand clap. Oh, hallelujah. Let's give that hand clap to the Lord. Can we do it? <laughs> oh, come on. Let's give God. Lift your hands right now. Lift your hands right now. Oh, come on. Let's just love the Lord. Can we do it? We're going to get the preacher on the floor, but the Holy Ghost is in this place right now. Let's not rush it right now. Let's not rush it. Oh, in the name of Jesus, come on. Let's just talk to God. The Holy Ghost is in this place. Somebody has an obey God, yeah, and I'm challenging you right now to do it. I'm challenging you right now to do it. Holy Ghost! Jesus. Oh God! I know we haven't heard the word yet. And I know First Lady's got a word and I'm not going to keep her. Oh my God, baby. 
But God is dealing with somebody right now. God is, God is dealing with somebody right now. You don't have to wait till after the message. <laughs> you don't have to wait till after the message. God can do the work for you right now. We love our first lady. She's a great woman of God. And I have the distinct honor to bring her to this pulpit. First lady, I want you to take your liberty. I'm just going to turn it to you. Let's obey God. Let's obey Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Let's obey Jesus tonight. I want you to turn to St. Matthew 26. And the familiar story, and I'm not going to go into the story, all of it. But we know the message that Jesus wants our church and our people to know. And before I get into it, I just want to thank all of you for coming. Sister Juan, Brother James, and this precious Mother, Mother Mary, Sister Mary's grandson and family, Sister Stella, all of you. If I could start calling my pastor, if I start calling Sister Sam, that's our girl. Welcome home, baby. God is calling in this hour. Let me tell you, I'm going to preach just a little bit on a man that God called. I said, I'm going to preach just on a man, a little bit on a man that God called. But I want you to notice one thing. He didn't call this man into his ministry by himself. 
he brought some brothers along with him. Let Sister Short tell you, to, if I call myself old granny, that's okay too. But let me just bring something to you tonight. God didn't call you into this to be alone. Ooh, I felt that. He calls us to be a body. His body. Whatever part of the body that you become, be content. Give it your best. Do what God wants you to do. Because just down the road, you're going to fight many battles. And through these battles, if you're not awful careful, you will find yourself in a bad fix. And I want to start reading the t- chapter 26 of St. Matthew. Now we know about Judas the Iscariot. I mean, knows about it. And when God gave me this message, I had to just stop a few times and sum up my own life and say, Lord, am I one of them? But the first verse said, and it came to pass when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, now, let me, let me tell you something tonight. Jesus Christ himself picked every disciple that he had. And again today, in the day that we live in, folks, I'm here to tell you he still is picking his disciples upon this earth. <laughs> He don't want you running along and he don't want you being the tops. He wants you to be humble. He wants you to be what he would have us to be. But the second verse said, you know that after two days in the feast of the Passover, he, now Jesus said this, he said, you know that after two days, boys, in the feast of the Passover, the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Oh, what a death sentence. And then we learned in the third verse where it said, then assembled together the chief priest and the scribes and the elders of the people to the palace of the high priest who was called, I may not speak that word right, And consulted that they might take Jesus. Look over to your neighbor and say they might take Jesus. By subtlety and kill him. Folks, they didn't kill him. He laid down his life. Let me tell you. If he calls you. You've got to lay down everything that's not like you. That's right. Woo! You cannot hold on to things that's got you bound. And do the work freely for Jesus. We're going to jump down to the 14th verse and said, Then said one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot. He went into the chief priest and he said unto them, what will you give me? Uh, Oh, listen to me tonight. What will you give me and I will deliver him unto you? Oh, my. And they convinced him with him for what? Somebody say it louder. 30 pieces of silver. And let me stand here and tell you this evening that I don't even feel like Jesus himself. As humble as he was. Somebody said, well, I would think I'd be worth more 
I don't even think Jesus would say, I'm worth that. I'm just here to do my Father's will. I'm just here to carry out the plan of God. I'm just here to die and give my blood, sacrifice my blood for my people. I told it. Brother Danny, I think, Brother Danny, somebody this past week, I said in the last few months, all I've done is just grab the Bible Way Church members, our people, and just want to hang on to them with everything in my power. Honey, the devil is out to destroy, and he's going to destroy anybody that will let him. In the scripture before we got over there, you can be seated if you like. But in the scriptures before we got over there, Jesus called all of his disciples to him. And one of them was Judas Iscariot. And he told them to go into the world. And he told them to heal the sick. He told them to open the blinded eyes. He told them to do what he came. What time he Oh Lord, what time he walked here on earth, he told them to do that work. Oh, we know there's a lot of people said Judas Iscariot was a devil from the beginning. I beg your pardon. All right. Yes, he sure did. He entered. And if you think that you, you can play around with God, you can play around with the world, you can just quit praying, you can quit reading your Bible, you can quit studying, you can quit meeting into the house of God, you can lose the love you have one for another, and after a while the devil's going the devil's gonna enter into you. I don't know about how you folks let me tell you he's out to get us. And I'm not here to lift up the devil. But I like to remind him of what he is. Hallelujah. He come to kill. He come to steal. And he come to tear down. But my Jesus said I come to give life and to give it more abundantly. Judas thought he'd come. Let me tell you just a little bit about old Judas. He was the money. Mm -hmm. He took care of the tithes. Yes, they did pay their tithes. And if you don't pay your tithes, you're going to get in trouble. Well, I'll leave that out. As long as you give it to God. Hallelujah. Lord, I feel anointing. If you grasp a hold of this, you will leave here tonight with something. And from that time on, the 16th verse said, from that time on, he saw opportunities to betray. I don't know, Brother Seth, I'm not, they haven't found the Bible, but he may have searched around to see who would give him the most money. As long as they was the priest and the, supposed to be in the chief priest and the scribes and the elders of Israel. If they had a, a Searched around until he could find somebody that did one thing for him. That one thing satisfied the mind. The devil wants to satisfy your mind. The devil wants to tell you you got it already. You've done, you've done, got it. Why don't you live? Uh, come on now. All right. Oh, hallelujah. Now, the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, 
disciples came to Jesus saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Get into the city of such a man and say unto him, Thy master. <laughs> the master saith, My time is at hand. Let me tell you, God sends messages. Did you know when John the Baptist was in prison, they had beheaded him and put him in prison. And while he was in prison, the Bible said that before they beheaded him, I'll back up some, while he was in prison, he knew without a shadow of doubt that it was time for him to go. I believe that because he sent his disciples out to Jesus and told them to go, asked him one more time. He did. The Bible don't say that, but I know. If you're about ready to take take your last breath, if you're about ready to be crucified, if you're about ready, folks, uh, to say that's it, uh, let me tell you, you're going to have all kinds of thoughts. Uh, and he wanted to make Sure, and the Bible said he told them to go and ask him, "Are you he? Are you he? Are you the one?" Oh, you know, oh, hold up, I tell you, let me tell you, he is the one, the only one. You can't find no way out of it, folks. He is the way, as Master said. He is the truth, and he's alive. Jesus turned around to those disciples. He said, you go tell John that I opened the blinded eyes, that I stayed the lame to walk, that I raised the dead. Yeah, I am he. Oh, let me tell you, folks, nobody else. There will never be nobody else come back to this earth to get his people but Jesus. Why, Sister Sean? He laid down the life for you. He laid down his life. He gave his blood. He sacrificed so much. Not for himself. The flesh cried out in the garden of Gethsemane. He was praying. He was talking. He was talking to his daddy. I mean, notice we got a daddy. What you feeling in this building tonight? Honey, it's the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And the power of God is just one spirit. There is no two or three different spirits. Either you got it or you don't got it. Hallelujah. But tonight you can have it. Oh, Lord. And then he said unto him, Go. Go into the city to such a man and say unto him, the master said, our time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at the house with my disciples. And I'm on to, and the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them. And they made ready to the Passover. Now when the evening was come, he sat down again with his disciples. I ain't got time to go in it, but I can tell you why. Why he kept sitting down with his disciples. I brought it out in my class Sunday morning, I think. All the teaching that Jesus sat and talked one-on-one -on -one with his 12 disciples. And he told them he was going to leave. He told them that they would take his Life. But he said, I gotta lay it down. Yeah. Yeah. But in three days, Come on. Come on. he said, I'm gonna ride back. Yeah. 
this temple, this temple that you boys are looking at. He said, I'm going to, it's, I lay down. But in three days, you know them old boys didn't grab that. Some of you are looking at me kind of strange. On, Brother Seth, they didn't even grab that message. All right. How do you know, Granny? Because when he was put in the grave, they went around mourning like I don't know what. If I'd had, a, Lord, if I'd had the opportunity to travel with Jesus Christ, brother, but mother, and he told me that I would... Lord, and he would raise again. I'd leave that old grave. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, don't worry about it, Mommy. He's coming out of there. And when he comes out, oh, he's going to bring power, greater power. Hallelujah. Oh, I hope you grab this. Yes, And as they did eat, he said, Verily, truly I say unto you, <laughs> one of you, one of you shall betray me. Now I'm just going to preach it like Jesus gave it to me. Amen. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. Have you often wondered? I mean, they've been deceived by somebody you really love. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Don't be ashamed to raise your hands. He comes. He goes. And they were exceeding sorrowful and began, every one of them. Every one of them. Now, all of those That's disciples, right. <laughs> probably at the same time, right. said, Lord, is it I? Lord, did I, 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 am I going to? Folks, this is his disciples. I want to ask you tonight. Are you his disciple? All right. That's good. That's good. Yes. Are you his disciple? Are you his disciple? Have you ever betrayed him? Oh, that's good. Not what? I know it was prophesied. It was to come to pass. But what really struck me, Brother Chase, was all of those disciples started searching themselves. Am I the God? And I'm going to tell you something. You better search yourself every day that you live. When you get out of that bed and you pray and you read your Bible, you better search yourself. Lord, is it I? Come on. That's good. Is it me, Lord? Come on now. Have I failed you to the point that I no, no longer can become your disciple. That's good. This is what Jesus answered to them, and I just love it. I love it. And he answered and said, He, he that dippeth his hand with me in the ditch, they were sitting at the table. I mean, I was sometimes the best Best times, if you family members still got little children, let me tell you, don't fix their plate and send them off to watch the TV. All right. Don't, don't send them out of the, the kitchen so you and maybe you and your wife or husband can talk. Set them babies around the table and be sure you let them know where that food came from. It may took the money out of your pocket to pay for it, but Jesus made it possible. Oh! And so many young people and children don't even know where their food comes from. They think you just go to the store and buy it. 
But oh, let me tell you, if Jesus had not made it possible, folks, it wouldn't have been in those stores. He that dippeth this hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. And the Son of Man goeth, as it is written of him. But listen what he said. Lord, sinner, backslider. Wax cold Christians in here tonight. You don't ever want to hear these words come out of his mouth. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Yeah. He has been good for the man if it had been good for the man if he had, had not been born. My God, what words. Let me tell you something tonight. It'd be good if you're betraying what God has given you to do for him. That's one way of betraying him. What Judas done was for money. But let me tell you, if we lay aside the weight, or if we lay aside anything, thank God that's not like God. Honey, you're building up a mountain. You're building up strength. You're building up a walkway right into heaven. But if you hold on to that, you're closing it's closing the doors are closing upon the people as I speak right now oh Lord I'm just going to go with you Judas was sitting now, I'm not a fan of the Lord's Supper and all these pictures because I do not believe. I know the Jewish people and the Hebrew people, and uh, they, they all usually have long hair. But for us, you better get it cut, boys. But I ain't going to go on that. But... When you look at that picture, if you ever see one, you'll see a, one of them's holding a money bag. Uh, uh -huh. Sitting right up against Jesus. Right. Do you know your worst enemy sometimes? They'll just love on you. Well, come on. Sister Becky, they'll make you think that you're the best thing in their life. And they can't leave your house till they're putting you down. That's right. Oh, that's denying, and that is denying, and that is betraying our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, I feel something in here tonight. Oh, yes. When Judas raised up, I just got to cut it like this. When Jesus raised, when Judas raised up, Jesus looked around. Jesus told him and said, "Do no. <laughs> what you have to do, do it quick. My God. Go now. Don't sit no longer with these people. Oh, no, no. Honey, it's coming to cut no time. Yeah. It's coming a time that Jesus set off free. Oh, yeah. oh Sister Kathy, get it's coming a time God set on free. All he wants you to do is depend upon him. Not the flesh. Not with hatred. Not with malice. Not with strife. But we have got to trust him. Amen. Do it quick. Oh, folks. And we know the story. When Jesus told him it was time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All down the time that Jesus was on the earth. He could be doing different things. Yeah. Oh, teaching his people in the mountains. He could be doing a lot of things that he come here to do. And all of a sudden, 
the young soldiers would walk up. Walk up with their sheaves, their swords. You know, I always thought that was kind of funny. Take something that powerful to go after such a humble man. Come on, yeah. Come on. All right. That if he wanted to, he could strike them dead. Amen. Before they even got close to him. Right. And he would look at them. Brother Seth, yes, he'd say, my hour. My hour. <laughs> my time is not yet. And them old boys would turn around, Brother Eddie, and they'd go back to their officers and they'd say, there's never been a man spake like that man. There has never been a man like that man. Well, oh, let me tell you, I know for sure too, once you come in contact, if you're in here tonight and you've been to an altar and you've been delivered and you've been set free, you've got the Holy Ghost, you've been baptized in Jesus' name, I'm here to tell you tonight you've been in the face of Jesus. You may not have seen him with the natural eye, but you've been in the face of Jesus. And once you get in the face of Jesus, you'll never forget it. You may walk away from it like Judas did, but you'll never forget it. And let me tell you, I, I, I've got to thinking about this, Brother Danny. And I thought, Lord, why could he, why could Judas repent it? Because when the, after they had gotten through, the Bible said that they gave Judas the 30 pieces of silver and he threw it on the ground. No longer was it important. Lord, when you fail God, when you fail God, nothing else is important. Oh, when you fail God, nothing in your life will be important. I don't care where you go, what you do. You might make money. You might do this and you might be that. There's an emptiness. <laughs> if you walk away from God. And I don't mind to tell you, Sister Madison, I believe that Judas, when he would walk out that door, I can't help but believe Sister Lisa had to turn around and take Come on, one more look. One more look. When the Spirit gets you, he could. Oh, Peter had a very, very high temper. Peter would give Jesus a hard time. He was like some of our people. Give the pastor a rough way to go. But Jesus always had an answer for him. And he told him one time, said, get behind me, Satan. And he told him that Satan, the devil desires to have you, Peter. That's why you got a, a high temper. That's why you wanted all, the, all these things to do. But Peter, even though he denied him, he didn't sell him. Oh, folks, are you getting it tonight? We may fail him, but we cannot sell him. If you sell Jesus out for a job that is not right to work, you sold him out. If you sell Jesus out, young men, for women, for somebody to marry, knowing good and well they're not in God's plan, then you better be careful you're liable to sell him out. And young women, if you're overtaken by men, young men, and but Sister Short, if I don't get him, I'll never get nobody else. The devil lied to you. The devil lied to you. I'm here to tell you tonight, I don't want to fail God. Raise your 
raise your hands and love him tonight. I don't want to fail God. I don't want to fail God. Oh, Lord, I feel it. Oh, and the Bible said, getting ready to come to a close, but the Bible said, after Judah and Jude scared walked away after he threw the money in the middle of the floor. He didn't want it. And I'm going to tell you something else. Them chief priests, them scribes, they couldn't use it either. It wasn't going back in their pocket. Thank God. Let me tell you, when God touches something, it's best that you either grab it, hold on to it, Fight for it. Stand up for it. Or you're going to lose. You're going to lose. And the saddest thing. I want you to grasp hold this. You don't grasp hold anything. The saddest thing that I can get out. Knowing how I would feel. If one of our members, one of my children, would sell out God for money. Folks, it's been done every day. People want wants money. And I'm not knocking it. Don't get me wrong. He called a baba. The saddest thing, Brother Chase. The purpose of Jesus coming here on earth. He couldn't even save Judas escaped. One of his own disciples. When Peter denied him, the Bible said, when Jesus came out of the court, and I don't mind to tell you, I wasn't there and I didn't see it, but I can visualize Sister Lisa, when the eyes of Jesus met Peter's eyes, Peter said, I don't know him. I don't know him. And even the flesh wants help. You better go for the spiritual walk instead of that. But Sister Short, I need it. No. If it's not in that license of God, you do not need it. But Peter, Peter went far off and wept and repented. Oh, God. Judas discouraged hung himself and died. Folks, we don't want to die without Jesus. And I'd like to ask this congregation tonight. How many times? How many times have we just have we broke the heart of our Lord and Savior Jesus?
I said in church sometimes, God always, I very seldom ever look at the congregation. If you watch Sister Short, you know, but every now and then God will draw me to someone. And one of the saddest things, I guess, that I ever seen in the church, while church is going on, is for one person beating the other with their mouth while the bread has been broken in the church. Folks, that's betrayal. I've watched people eventually leave the church because that talk. My mind goes back to when the serpent beguiled Eve and began to tell her in her ear oh you're not going to die you're going to live I want to leave this with you Judas kissed the door to heaven but didn't get to go in I said Judas kissed when he went into the garden and took all of the soldiers with their swords and their sheaves. Jesus had told them it's my time. He didn't send them away, Brother Chase. you bring the swords because our Savior was a lamb led to the sword and we ain't going no further
If you can't break the bread, share the wine. If a humble heart is sacred, the wash of feet of peace betray you. And surely he the love a heart like mine. Oh, yeah. Glory, glory. Anybody else need prayer tonight? One need to pray around the altar. You need prayer. Ever seen the mountains of their sins just disappear? For anyone who's ever felt the hand of heaven reached out to their fear and dried a tear. For anyone's life's empty now finds themselves alone and full of song. And then you'll understand the reason how the saints of God may carry on. So if I shout and all my shouting, but my heart has been washed clean. If I run and all my am running, but my heart has been redeemed. To the world am I the crazy? There's just no telling what you're going to do. Anyone who knows the hope that keeps them moving on through trouble days. For anyone who knows they got a future and a hope beyond the grave. Well, oh, every life's a different story. I recall the child of darkness and to life. There's no way to gain my silent Every breath's another chance to testify So if I shout, no, oh, I'm shouting No, my heart's been washed clean If I run, no, I'm running But my path's been redeemed To the world that might look crazy There's just no telling what you're gonna do In that moment Get a hold of you. Oh, yeah, I pass you ways. I let you change and testify. Oh, yeah, I pass you ways. I let you change and testify. the congregation said to your feet the Holy Ghost needs to move right now in the name of Jesus Come on. 
Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Tonight is a wonderful place to be. Yeah. And I'll tell you, this whole week, last night and tonight. Yes, sir. I went home and fed from last night. I'm going home and feed from again tonight. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where you're at, but praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you heard from God tonight. Amen. The Holy Ghost moved on you. And, oh, I'll tell you. I'm glad tonight to be right here tonight. I'm glad to be here tonight to you. I'm glad to see God move on that lady. I'm glad to see God moving in your life. Hallelujah. I praise God tonight. Uh, hallelujah. It's going it's to be a good time. All week long. I'm praying. Hey Amen. I'm going to make it every night. I don't know that I will. Boy, this has been my soul. My soul has been... Relieved from the things of this world. I see it around me and I get so many things on my mind. I get so many things tonight. I, I won't hush just a second. I get so many things on my mind. I got in the book of Amos and I read about that and I see that happening all around the world today. I see it happening in every church. I see it happening all around where people have been oppressed and not able to serve God and do what God wants them to do. Hallelujah tonight. You've been set free. Praise God. You can shout the victory tonight. You can run the odds. You can do what God wants you to do. Just shout the victory tonight because God is turning you loose. Amen. Praise God. The Holy Ghost wants to use you tonight. Amen. Be somebody lost that you can get up and shout the victory because God's people. Hallelujah. And you've got freedom of the Spirit of God here tonight. All oh, the Holy Ghost is moving. And thank God we've just seen evidence. I didn't mean to say all that, but I'm just glad to be here tonight. 